Hi everyone, this is Laura Hammock from the Marble Jar Channel, and in today's video I'll tell you why I love Trello, what kinds of boards you can create with it, and share with you all of the great features that it has. So Trello is one of my new favorite tools that I use for planning, organization, and productivity. It is beautiful, works across platforms, has amazing collaborative features, is satisfyingly tactile, and is so versatile that it's almost difficult to get started since there are so many ways that you can use it. So what is Trello? It is a Kanban app. You may have heard this term in reference to the just-in-time inventory system that Toyota developed back in the 1980s. Basically, the Japanese characters for Kanban mean card, like index card, and board, like whiteboard. Kanban is the visual and tactile system that Toyota used to shepherd its parts through its factories. The arrival of the card would let workers know when a part had moved to the next stage and when new parts were needed. So in a non-industrial environment, people started using Kanban systems to track and manage any process that had multiple steps. So here's an example of a Kanban board that uses sticky notes as the cards. In this situation, each sticky note represents a small project, probably a software bug fix or a feature release. All potential products projects are housed in the to-do column. Then they pass through each of the steps of the process. In this case, plan, develop, test, deploy, and done. You can see how this can be used for any process where there are multiple items going through the same routine set of steps. Writing articles, um, sales acquisition, or like choosing a college. So Trello is an app that uses these Kanban principles. You create a board and can have as many boards as you want, even in the free version. Within the board, you create lists. Those are the columns. Within the lists, you can add cards. What's nice about Trello is that the cards aren't just these two-dimensional sticky notes that can only hold a small bit of information. Instead, you can pack each card full of information like uh, attachments, due dates, checklists, images, links, and other notes. So this makes Trello really versatile, and you can use it in a host of different ways. So as far as I can tell, people generally use Trello in three different ways. One, actions. So this is the original usage where your cards are projects or tasks and you move them between lists as they progress through the stages of the process. By far the most common setup is to have the cards be tasks and the lists be these three, to do, doing, and done. So the next way that people use Trello is by creating lists or categories. So each list on a board contains a certain type of thing. People use Trello to hold all kinds of lists, including grocery lists, names of movies they want to see, all the tasks in a bigger project, places you want to see on vacation, etc. And finally, people use Trello just to hold notes. So Trello cards can contain so much information that you can easily just use them as a repository for notes. You can put attachments, um, checklists, images, links, and comments in a card and then store that for future reference. So because there are all these different ways that you can use Trello, you can imagine that the number of ways you can set up a board is virtually limitless. So in my next video, I'm gonna describe the different ways that I use Trello, but um, for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna give you some more generic examples. Video production. So this is an action board. Each card is a video topic and gets moved from step to step through the process until the video is scripted, filmed, edited, uploaded, launched, and marketed. Home renovation. So this is a project board that is a hybrid of a different couple of different kinds of uses. There is an action component with tasks as cards moving between the to do, doing, and done lists. But there is also a notes function where you can keep plans, contractor contact information, great websites for purchases, a link for your budget spreadsheet, etc. Media to consume. So this is a board that contains a list of TV shows, podcasts books and movies that you eventually want to watch, read, or listen to. The lists are categories and each card represents an item to consume. You can include more information within each card to show who recommended the show, where to watch it, and how long it might be. Meal planning. So this is a list board with each card containing a recipe. The cards can contain images, links, and ingredient lists. Individual recipes can be organized by type and then pulled together to create a weekly meal plan. School. So this is another hybrid board with to do, doing, and done lists for specific homework or reading assignments, but also there is a list containing notes for each class and other pertinent school information. 
In addition, you might have a list for um, big projects or term papers to split those ongoing tasks out from everyday work. So now that I've shown you several of the ways to use Trello, let me tell you about some of its great features. Free. So it is totally free for unlimited boards, lists, and cards. You would only need to upgrade to the paid version if you wanted to upload big attachments or, and this is tempting, you wanted to have more than one power up per board. More on that later. Cross-platform. It's available through a web interface as well as on your mobile app, um, so you always have access to your boards. Beautiful. It is a stunning app, both on the web and mobile, with beautiful photos to use as the background to your board, so it really makes you want to use it. I love this since I tend to find apps to be either beautiful or full-featured, but I rarely find both. Tactile. So we all know how satisfying checking items off of a list can be even electronically, but there is something really satisfying about being able to move an item from one list to another by drag and drop, and then and also reorganize a list by dragging cards around. Collaborative. So you can share your boards with anyone who has a Trello account, and then they can add cards, move cards around, and get notifications when you make changes to cards or boards that they have joined. It's a great way to collaborate with coworkers, fellow students, and family members on joint projects. Checklists. We've already talked about boards, lists, and cards being the basic Trello organizational structure. If you use checklists in your Trello cards, you can make that even one level deeper organizationally. So here's an example. You can create a list for a project and have each card for each task that is needed to complete the project, or you can the card itself can be a whole project with 10 steps to complete that are represented by this checklist within. So on the web, you can convert a checklist to an, uh, an item to a card with one click. In addition to checklists, you can also use labels. So you can choose to apply um, a label or several to a card. There are 10 colored labels that you can use, and you can choose a custom name for the labels that will only apply to this board. So these labels can be applied to any card and any list, making it a virtual organizational tool. For tasks or project boards, people like to use labels like urgent or awaiting response or due tomorrow. You can see these colored labels in the standard board view. And finally, power ups. So Trello gives you the ability to connect with a bunch of different apps like Calendar, Google Drive, or Slack. Adding the calendar power up um, allows you to see cards with due dates in a calendar view. A free membership allows you one power up per board, but with a paid subscription, you can add as many as you want. So you can see what an amazingly versatile tool Trello is for organizing life, productivity, and product management. There are so many different ways you can use it. It can be a little hard to determine how to incorporate it best into your life. Join me in my next video when I share how Trello works with all of my other organizational tools and how I use it. Comments are always appreciated, and thanks for watching.